Hey you guys, what's up? So today I'm here to share a first impression and review of the newest uh, match stick by Fenty. So she came out with a one core pearl. Pearl, yeah. Um, so it's an iridescent kind of clear uh, stick that is gonna come in handy for spring and summertime. If you're gonna see my raw first impressions and uh, yeah, just like general thoughts on this product, which I'm wearing right now, uh, just keep on watching. Anyway, my friends, let's get started. As you can see, I'm looking super, super pale. I just have my foundation uh, concealer I set underneath my eyes, that's it. And right now, I'm wearing the Huda Tantor Contour. So I haven't set all over my face. I only have that cream contour right on. And um, I don't wanna put any blush or anything. I wanna go in first with the product, the highlighter, and then we can put on um, the blush. But first, let's jump into Sephora's website and let's read a little bit of what this is all about. So this is newest um, product by Fenty. It is called the Match Stick. This is in the shade Pro and it's an iridescent pink product. And it is meant to be like one of those clear looking highlighters. So it is already available on Sephora's website and I uh, that's where I got it from. And it retails for $33. It is an online exclusive. Um, and they did come out with um, another of her body lava and another diamond bomb. But I wasn't really into that color. It's like a copper color. And I think it's gonna be a little bit too dark for me. Um, so I just decided to go with the clear iridescent kind of product so anyway this is let's read it so it's an illuminating makeup stick um, in a comfortable lightweight formula that finishes any look with a natural looking dewy sheen for all this product is vegan and cruelty free this makeup stick gives you a complexion instant dewy radiance with a natural looking glass skin uh, finish it is translucent non-sticky base glides over the skin leaving a pearly iridescent glow without the glitter so how do you use it warm the skin a glow on the back of your hand before applying on bare face or layered over makeup apply by tapping onto skin with fingertips or with a purple highlighter brush which is sold separately which i don't have so the application they suggest it is with your fingers or with the brush which i don't own so we're gonna uh, we're gonna make it work so let's do a swatch because this was super interesting. So as you can see, I am really, really swatching. And you don't get much. You don't really get that iridescent sheen. I mean, you kind of do. I really hope you can see. You do, but like, I don't know. It's just weird. Um, and I wanted to say that on Sephora's website's uh, reviews, people are really liking this product. They're getting like one star, one star, one star, and this pe this person gave it four, and then the other one gave her two. So I don't know. I keep swatching, and I don't get much of anything, which is surprisingly. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do what they say. So I'm gonna warm it with my fingers like so so when you do that i guess you get a little bit more color but anyway let's see Do you guys see anything? I kind of do, but it's so slight, so subtle that it's just like, I don't know. Like I'm not really getting the glass finish that they're talking about. I don't really see, hold on. This is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I don't know. Let me try. Let's try with a brush. So I'm just going to use this Real Techniques brush. Just going to tap. 
take this and then apply it. Okay, I guess the brush to pick up a lot more product, but it's, it's really lifting my foundation underneath. I guess I I went overboard. Um, I guess yeah, it's better with a brush because I don't know if you can see the difference, but on this side you can really see more of a glow. But I feel like the brush really, yeah, the brush really lifted my foundation and i don't know if it was the product being too sticky um or the brush is not the right one um let's see with something like this so this is also a real techniques this is a highlighting brush let's go on this side Okay, okay, so let's do blush. I'm gonna do, let's do this um, play blush by MAC um, and see if all comes together. I'm not gonna go higher, I'm just gonna keep it on my cheekbones. Okay, so. I have a Seattle London stick, which is super similar to this. I was gonna bring it downstairs, but I left it upstairs, so um, I forgot to bring it back. I was gonna compare it to that one, and um, I don't know, I usually like that one with my fingers all top, but it's way, way more glowing than this. I find that with, um, with the brush, it just lifts up all my foundation. So let's try with the, yeah, with a beauty sponge. All right, you guys, so let me finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back and I'll let you know what I think of this part. All right, you guys, I'm back and yeah, I went a little bit overboard. I think this is what quarantine does to you. I felt like, okay, I needed to play with makeup and I started off with a really soft pink eye and this happened. But anyway, we're not talking about my eye makeup today. I'm back to talk about this and I'm ready to like, just to let you know what I think. And this is what we're working with. I have to tell you that after I did all my makeup, I actually come to the conclusion that you need to build this sucker up. Like, and you need to do it with your fingers. And you have to have a lot of patience and time, which I do right now, right, everyone? Um, at the beginning, I have to say that uh, the brush application, it was not my favorite. Um, it was a disaster. I felt like it was lifting my foundation. I just hated it. So we tried with the Real Techniques. It was too much. It was picking up my foundation. It was just too rough. It was too packed. So that might have been my fault, but then whenever we did with the Real Techniques, I felt like it was better. It's not super dense and you do get a more precise application of the product. So I do appreciate the Real Techniques for that, but I'm gonna say that now that my makeup is all said and done, I really like it. I feel like it looks super juicy and dewy and it looks super natural. Um, it's not pink whatsoever. I don't find that it's iridescent at all. Do you? What do you think? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it looks like it does in the pictures. I think it doesn't have much color to it and it's, it's like a transparent kind of product that it gives you a little bit of a swish, like a golden swish. I don't know, this is a little bit confusing, but I have to tell you, I already used the whole thing that it was like this, like this is how it came. It was like super high and round and I felt like I used so much product. How much do we get in here? Let's find out. Oh, 
So you don't really get a ton for 33 bucks. And I felt like I really had to build this sucker up, but the end result. So uh, final thoughts, I really think that this is a beautiful product for spring and summer. I think it's just super, super natural. So if you're into really super natural, kind of highlight then i think you're really gonna enjoy something like this if you're not really into metallic highlighters or like really heavy you know powders or loose highlighters i think this is a product that you could really enjoy i really like it now that all my makeup is said and done but i'm not gonna lie at the beginning i was like what is happening here like <laughs> this is like showing up like nothing this is just like a greasy mess um but you do have to be careful with a product like this on application you need to find a way to make it work you either will want to use a beauty sponge which mine wasn't really dampened so it wasn't gonna do the job properly i'm pretty sure of that uh but that was my fault um i would do the brush 100 percent. so again try to find a really light brush like a dual fiber brush but like a tiny one a small one so you can really apply it on your cheekbones and whatever you want it you know um to pop um and then as something like um your fingers which is like the best for me it was the best application um already guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed my first impressions and review of fenty matchstick let me know in the comments down below what do you think of it what do you think do you like it do you think it's worth the money it was 33 canadian dollars let me know what do you think in the comments down below i would love to know do give me a thumbs up if you enjoy and do not forget to click that red subscribe button on there for more and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.